love got to do, got to do it. This is how I get hyped up for my videos, you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back. So, today's video, we are gonna be doing a full face of Whole Foods makeup. Yeah, you heard me right, mm -hmm. yeah, you heard me right, yes, Whole Foods makeup. What? I didn't know they had makeup, probably because I never really shopped there before because I personally have a very junk-filled diet, but I've been trying to make a change. So I've been shopping at Whole Foods more often these days, and I noticed that they had makeup, and my mind was, You know what that was. My mind was blown. I want to know if it's good. I know that my mom always buys her makeup from these type of places. She only wants natural, like mineral makeup. She knew that they had makeup, so I don't know if this is like a me thing. But regardless, we're going to take a trip over to Whole Foods and snatch up all that makeup and test it on my face. But before we do that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because let me let you in on a little secret. Everybody that is subscribed to my channel will get seven years of amazing luck in your life. You will find the love of your life you will make a lot of money you will be successful all around if you are subscribed to my channel it's just like you know that's the word around town so hit the subscribe button if you want to be lucky for the next seven years <laughs> that's all <laughs> without further ado i'm gonna stop talking and let's go to whole foods to get this makeup get out the way we're trying to get some makeup hurry up and park already my mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you beat me Look can be deceiving Let you get the best of me So we found this Hope we've actually has a lot of makeup Most of the stuff is this brand called Mineral Fusion We're gonna get the face primer They even have a smoothing eye primer BB cream At least we can actually test them too So I can try to figure out my shade a little bit here Okay, that seems a little light what do I do? I need, I need a napkin. Oh my god, they have it all available right here. This is better than freaking PBS. I think I'm gonna have to get two shades because the next one down is like a really big jump. Come on now. What? Do you see? What is this shade jump here, people? I'm gonna have to make my own big shade. For concealer, we have two options. We've already got the foundation from Mineral Fusion, so I'm gonna try Pacifico concealer. It looks like they ran out of testers. It must be good. Therefore, I'm getting it. The employees are so nice. We've had two of them already come up and help us. No one's told me to stop filming. Like, this place is great. I'm even going through the drawers, they're not giving me dirty looks. It's great. Looking at the packaging, we're kind of realizing that this color does not match what's in it at all. They only have neutral colors for eyeshadows, so we're gonna find an eyeliner. Black? Black. Good. We will try it. Can we get one of those? So this is the final item. I can't find a setting spray and I couldn't find a brow product, so I got an eye pencil instead. But let's go back to the studio and try all this stuff out. Okay, okay, this uh, Whole Foods makeup don't play. It's a little expensive. I did not even look at the price. We're really racking it up there. It's okay, it's natural. We're doing good things for our body, for our face. $369.81. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again with Whole Foods makeup. We got a lot of products in this paper bag and it was for a hefty price. I was actually kind of taken aback. It's not like drugstore CVS makeup price point, you know? But it's not like high-end Sephora, like Ulta makeup. It's just like in the middle. Medium price. I don't know what this, how that means medium price, but you know what I'm saying. I was able to get the majority of products for a full face for each step of my makeup routine, which is a lot of steps, I will admit, for the average person, but... Anyways, let's get right into it. They did have a face primer from Mineral Fusion. Comes in this little two, oh shoot, oh whoa, that was aggressive. It squirted right out of there. I hate when that happens. It also is supposed to have age-defying antioxidants in there. It's supposed to be paraben free. Oh, it's like a gel formula. And this is meant to smooth fine lines, it says, and blur imperfections, which definitely feels like it's that type of formula. It's very thin and lightweight, so I do like that. I feel like it definitely does have those skin blurring capabilities because of that gel kind of a formula that it is smells really really good i like that i actually like how it hasn't completely mattified my face my skin still has that natural finish thing with primers though it's hard on a first impression because you can't really tell you know how long wearing your foundation is going to be or any of that we can only see how the foundation will apply immediately 
over top. So moving on to foundation, I have the Mineral Fusion Liquid Foundation. They didn't have like a crazy huge shade range, but at least you can test them at the store, which I really, really like. It's supposed to be hypoallergenic and 100% vegan. I will say I hate the way the foundation kind of dispenses out of here. It's like an open nozzle there, which is very messy if you're being picky. So I made my little mixture. I have like a drop of neutral too, but it's mostly warm too. And instead of applying with the Beauty Blender today, I really want to try out this new Tarte brush. It's like so beautiful. Ooh. Right off the bat, I am seeing some coverage. You do have some playing time. It's not drying down super fast, so I like that. It says there's skin perfecting mineral pigments in a silky lightweight formula that instantly evens your skin tone for flawless natural looking coverage that won't feel greasy or heavy. So far it does feel really lightweight and it seems to be giving me decent coverage. So foundation is completely applied. I like the coverage a lot, especially for a more natural, product sometimes they say they're full coverage and it's like <laughs> the only thing is i feel like those mineral pearls or whatever they say it's made with are kind of accentuating the texture on my skin right now my skin is really bad to be fair it's not usually like this bumpy but i mean if you have texture it's obviously gonna be kind of accentuated if you're not setting your face with something that's more mattifying let's move on to conceal so for concealer i have the pacifica transcendent concentrating correcting concealer in the shade light it says greaseless complete coverage so that's what i like in a concealer liquid minerals to help hide imperfections in dark circles and it has coconut water in it so again good for you ingredients it's got that natural skin finish it did give me more of like medium coverage i like a little bit more coverage directly on my inner corner here so i'm going to put a little more just helps cover up my bags more when there's full coverage right there i don't really like the way it's making my under eye look i think that coconut oil or something in it is kind of separating the product so it doesn't look very smooth it looks let me zoom you in kind of like accentuating my fine lines under there and it just doesn't look very flattering so so far i'm not loving the way it's sitting under there but we will wait to see what it looks like after we set it so i got the pacifica rainbow crystals liquid mineral strobe multi-use highlighter it's got this like pinkish rose gold reflect to it it says boost your aura and get out of this world highlights anywhere this magic wand kisses your face and body okay very subtle let me apply another layer we're not about subtlety here on the sylvia gani channel right now i'm not really liking this it's kind of separating my foundation underneath and it's not giving me much of a highlight at all it's very very subtle definitely moving around my foundation like it's being picked up on the wand even so now let's set my face and my concealer because we are in desperate need mm -hmm. so i got the pacifica neutralizing mineral mattifier soft focus translucent powder supposed to control oil and help prevent melting makeup and it's infused with cherry extract and coconut everything's infused with coconut mm. so i'm mostly focusing this on my t-zone where i really get oily we are going to set the concealer by just pressing in this powder under there it looks like it just sits on top of your skin it does add that extra layer of powder that looks powdery and almost cakey it did pass the flash test here's that photo here the powderiness and that cakiness almost made my skin and texture look worse probably wouldn't use it again so i got the brow gel in clear and then i also got one of their eye pencils in the brown shade to try and use it as a brow pencil i'm gonna just try and slowly fill in my brows light-handed with this because it's very creamy very pigmented i'm gonna end up with block brows if i get too crazy here it does look like the shade is working for me there i'm just gonna use my own spoolie brush to blend it in so although i was able to create a really nice brow shape with that being super super light-handed and careful i still probably would wouldn't recommend using this as a brow pencil. If you're sweating and wearing it for long hours, it probably will smudge away really easily. But for now, for sure, we finessed it. it. Looks good. So now let's use the Pacifica Thickening Setting Brow Gloss in the shade Clear. I'm just gonna lightly apply that over top. I'm kind of worried about smudging off all that eye pencil that we put on there, but so it's very lightweight. I'm having to put in a few layers. Oh, it's doing a good job though. But I do like that. It did a good job. It set my brows. It's just not the strongest one out there so if you really have unruly brows maybe you need something 
little stronger, but just for a quick comb through and straightening them out, it does a good job. Let's move on to bronzer. I have the Mineral Fusion Sparkle Bronzer. This one also has ingredients that are really rich in antioxidants, so that's really good for your skin. Ooh, it's applying super velvety, like so smooth. It's not too gray, not too orange. Yeah, I've definitely been trying to like improve my diet, so hence me now shopping at Whole Foods. <laughs> Who am I? When you're sick, you like realize how crappy you actually treat your body and you're like, no wonder I got sick. Like, obviously I'm the worst, but I'm really gonna try a little bit harder to just be aware of what I'm putting in my body. And you know, 2019, it's the new year. We gotta set some goals for ourselves. The bronzer is completely applied and I love this bronzer. I definitely will be using it again. So now let's move on to their blush. I got the shade Flashy. Ooh, that's pretty too. Similar formula to the bronzer where you can build it really nice and subtly. It's blending nicely and seamlessly into that bronzer too. Bronzer and blush approved. We got an eyeshadow primer for Mineral Fusion, their smoothing eye primer base. They recommend you put this underneath your eye as well. It's supposed to help to prime your concealer to make your concealer last longer, which I thought is interesting. We're not gonna do that because we obviously already applied our concealer, but let's apply a little bit of this on my lids. That's uh, a very liquidy white formula. Now my lids are primed and ready to go. It really reminded me of the face primer. They were very kind of similar, but it doesn't have any color to it. It just has a little bit of a tackiness, which still should be fine for an eyeshadow primer. So now let's go in with the eyeshadow palette that I got, which is from Pacifica, and it's their Pink Nudes Mineral Eyeshadow Palette. 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Love that. You know what other palette is 100% cruelty-free and vegan? The Sylvia Gani BH Cosmetics Palette. Vegan, cruelty-free, beautiful. Only $24. You can create tons of looks with those shades. You got neutrals, you got bold shades, you got colorful shades, and you got a good fun palette for a very affordable price. Come to think of it, because this highlight was such a disappointment, let me go in with the greatest highlighters of all time, Libra and Opal inside my palette here. Oh, oh, oh. Gets me every time. Well, bam, better than ever. Mm. And while we're at it, we'll do the shout out of today's video. The S Club shout out of the day goes to Darian9300 4941 from Twitter. I see you got some S Club merch. You got the beautiful black rose hoodie and you also got the palette. You're showing so much love and so much support. So thank you so much for being part of my S Club and watching my videos. You deserve today's shout out goes to you. Now let's move on to the eye shadow. So they had a few of these little palettes. This one was the prettiest one in my opinion. Let's start with this shade right here. I'm gonna take that and kind of just pack it all along my crease. Oh wow, pigmented right off the bat. That's really pretty. Definitely a lot more pigment with one dip of my brush than I expected. Let's take that shade and put it all over the lid. Also bring that to the lower lash line. Oh, it gave me a really nice even layer of color there and the pigment is great. I'm impressed so far. Now going in with a clean blending brush. I'm just gonna go along the edges of that and just diffuse it, make it nice and soft. It's blending out really easily. So now let's go in with this really light kind of pastel pink shade. I'm gonna take that all on the inner corner here and blend into that peachy color on our lid. So now let's take this brown shade. I'm gonna pack that on on my outer corner of my lash line. So we're definitely gonna have to build this color. Maybe it's just not as intense because it's going on top of another eyeshadow. I'm also gonna mix that with the darkest brown in the palette since I could definitely use a little bit more pigment. Also taking that on my lower lash line just right on the most outer part. Now let's take this brown from the palette and I'm gonna use that to blend this line out and up into the outer corner. They perform really really well. I mean the shades are kind of bland but I really love this peach color and I think it's it's really nice for a neutral girl you know. But now let's go ahead and try out their Mineral Fusion liquid eyeliner. Let's just run that along my lash line. Pretty jet black but the wand is drying out pretty quickly so you have to dip it a couple times. I kinda don't like it. The wand is really, really stiff, so it made it hard to get a smooth line uh, running it along my lash line. So now let's apply some mascara. It's the Dream Big Mascara in Black Magic. It's supposed to be this lash extending seven in one mascara. The wand has like those really short prickly bristles. So far, it's not really comfortable to be combing these lashes through very prickly, and it's creating kind of thick, short, stouty lashes. I mean, it's not terrible. It's very average, and I really don't like how it made 
my lashes super short and spiky like spider legs. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes off camera since we were not able to get any at Whole Foods. Be right back. 12 seconds later. The lashes are on. I also added a little bit of glitter just in the center to, I don't know, give this eye look a little extra something something. Don't wanna bore you guys. Hopefully the glitter is doing things for you. I don't know, but I like it. So last step is lips and I grabbed three of their lip products to really test them out. I've got a lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip gloss, all of which are from Mineral Fusion. Let's first go in with their lip pencil in the shade Elegant. Ooh, it's gliding on really smoothly. Really love that. I would wear that all over as a lipstick as well, and it feels like it's hydrating enough to do that. Moving on to the lipstick now. It also has lip protecting antioxidants in it. It's supposed to go on nice and smoothly. Ooh, it's hydrating. Definitely has shine to it. Oh, it feels really nice on my lips. Super soft. Reminds me of the YSL lip formulas. I'm loving this on its own, but let's just test out the lip gloss I got as well. They all seem to be relatively the same kind of color. Very lightweight, not goopy at all. It smells like candy. And there we have all three lip products together. That's really gorgeous color. Probably the lip liner is my favorite, but I really like that lipstick too. All right, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I love how the makeup actually turned out. We have a really pretty like monochromatic peach theme going on and I didn't even mean to do that. It just kind of came together in the end. My complexion looks pretty good, especially after mattifying, you know, with a powder and setting the foundation, it looks a lot better. I think if I were to use my own setting powder that I know I love, it could have made the foundation look 10 times better because right now it's still kind of accentuating, you know, the texture on my forehead and like my large pores but it's a pretty decent foundation like I'm definitely gonna give it another shot I love that all the products we tried are really good for you with great ingredients and they really performed really well the only thing that I really didn't like and couldn't make work was that liquid highlighter I love the bronzer I love the blush the lip products as well were amazing mascara also was kind of like a whatever product and the concealer was not my favorite definitely can still see my bags kind of seeping through and I really had to layer it a lot and it's still not really sitting nicely under there but for the most part you guys whole foods makeup is being slept on and that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you buy my palette by clicking this button right here if you haven't bought one yet and then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet just keep the sylvia marathon going and don't forget to subscribe because seven years good luck if you do i'll see you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching bye guys bye